Today I'm going to be comparing the following Montblanc pens. The Andrew Carnegie 888 Limited Edition. The Pope Julius II 888 Limited Edition. The Silver Fiber Galoche. And the Granite Solitaire Soul Makers 400 Years Limited Edition. My Andrew Carnegie is number 616 out of the 888 pens that Montblanc made, and it's made of solid white gold covering a pearlescent precious resin body. And the cap features a mother of pearl Montblanc star. Here's a close up of this pen's nib. My Pope Julius II is number 735 out of the 888 pens that Montblanc made, and it's made of solid yellow gold covering a copper like precious resin body with a galoche pattern in it. And this pen also features a mother of pearl Montblanc star. Here's a close up of this pen's nib. The silver fiber galoche is based on the 146 and consists of a sterling silver sheath covering a precious resin body and the cap of the pen is rather ornate and features a silver fiber galoche pattern and the cap also features a standard white Montblanc star. Here's a close up of this pen's nib. My granite solitaire is pen number 1161 out of the 1906 pens that Montblanc made and it too is based on the 146 featuring a sterling silver sheath covering a precious resin body and the nib is a special nib celebrating the 100 years of Montblanc's existence but the special feature of the pen is the cap which consists of solid Montblanc granite and the cap features a suspended diamond Montblanc star Here's a close-up of this pen's nib. I'm now going to go ahead and ink the pens and please take note that I'm just inking them for the purpose of the demonstration and they won't necessarily be completely filled with ink using the method that I'm going to use to ink them. Now we come to the performance comparison between these four pens and first up is the Pope Julius II. I'm going to start off by writing vertical and horizontal lines with this pen to see how she performs. And we have flawless performance here. She is also capable of writing my signature flawlessly. Next up is the Andrew Carnegie. And I'm going to carry out the same test with this pen to see how she performs. Okay, you can see that she battles with vertical lines, but the horizontal lines are alright. And this is also reflected in how she writes my signature. Next up is the Granite Solitaire. And again, we have flawless performance with the vertical and horizontal lines, and she too flawlessly writes my signature. Lastly, we have the silver fiber galoche, and let's see how she performs.
Again, flawless performance at the vertical and horizontal lines, and she is also capable of writing my signature flawlessly. So of the four pens, the one that seems to have a bit of a problem is the Andrew Carnegie, in that it battles a bit with the vertical lines. I'm not going to show you a close-up of the comparison. The Pope Julius, the Andrew Carnegie, the Granite Solitaire, and the Silver Fiber Galash. I'm going to conclude by testing how these pens perform when drawing horizontal and zigzag lines across the page. And first up is the silver fiber galoche. Okay, perfect straight line. And she seems to perform flawlessly with the zigzag. Next up is the granite solitaire. And again, a rather flawless straight line. Let's see how the zigzag goes. And flawless performance again. Next up is the Andrew Carnegie. And as you saw earlier, she does seem to battle with vertical lines. So let's see how the zigzag goes. But the horizontal line across the page should be no problem for this pen. Okay, so flawless performance with the horizontal line, and, well, the zigzag seems to be rather flawless as well. And lastly, we get to the Pope Julius II. Let's see how she performs. Okay, we have a flawless horizontal line and the zigzag performance also seems to be rather flawless. I'm going to close off by stating that the performance you saw from these pens was out of the box performance as none of these pens have been tweaked in any way and I'm sure that with a bit of tweaking from a pen master the Andrew Carnegie will be made to write perfectly. I sure hope that you enjoyed the video and that you found it to be informative.